All right. So before I begin, I want to remind everybody that this Friday, April 15th, so in two days, we are having the 200 subscriber celebration live stream at 12 p.m. U.S. Central Time here on YouTube. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to play some games for you all for a couple hours. Um, I'll be able to answer your questions live, interact with you live. We should have a really great fun time. All right, so let's talk about Lay's. All right, so um, this is not really going to be about Lay's classic potato chips as much as it's going to be just about Lay's in general. But in case you've been sleeping under a rock this whole time, Lay's are just, they're just the ultimate classic branded potato chip. I mean, all of their chips are a legendary, perfect golden. It's not even like a golden brown. It's just like a golden, like golden yellow. They have a perfect smell. They have a perfect taste. The crunch is amazing. Like, listen to this. Oh, the way they taste is amazing. They're salted to perfection. Um, they come in varying different sizes. Like, this one is a giant one that's laid over on top of itself. This one has the big crunch. And so, gosh, um, I love the classic ones. Um, fun, a, not a fun thing that you probably may not have realized, these go incredibly well with milk. If you, you eat Lay's potato chips and drink a cup of just regular 2% milk, it's really good. Now, of course, I think that milk goes really well with, like, everything. Because, you know, I'm a psycho. But, you know, you can find other things. And so, um, whenever my family gets these, we usually get either the sour cream and onion, which is definitely our favorite ever. Or, um... Or we get the lightly salted, which is what these are, if they didn't have as much salt on them. Um, the lightly salted is obviously more healthy, doesn't have as much salt, which is like, I don't know what less salt does. I think it's like less cholesterol or something like that. I don't know what oil these are made with, but it's probably just regular vegetable oil. But question. Yeah, these are, so potatoes, vegetable oil, and salt, which is... Canola oil, corn oil, soybean, and or sunflower oil. Mm, so, it's just, it's just amazing. It's amazing that something that is so good can be so simple. It's just, it's awesome. So... Something I didn't think about doing last video is um is reading off some fun facts to you all about Lay's potato chips. Where I switch, I guess one day I'll I'll remake that Frito video and I'll read off some facts about it. But I'm on Insider right now, and these are ten things you probably didn't know about Lay's potato chips. So um. The first one, I think, says that Lay's potato chips were first sold in 1932. So these things are really old. And most likely they probably just started with the classic regular, just regular salted potato chips. The story about the origin of all potato chips is that this guy went into like a restaurant and got fries, but he said he wanted them to be thinner. So the chef just went to the back, cut the potato into really thin slices and fried them. And then that's how potato chips were born. Lay's potato chips come in over 200 flavors. I know that I know that they're sold all around the world too. Like I know they have like a, like in Japan, they apparently have like a KFC flavored 
um, potato chips for Lay's. This is just so it's weird. It's crazy. It's stupid. It's amazing. Um, Lay's popular chips were first sold in the 1930s out of the back of founder Herman W. L. What? No. Out of the back of founder Herman W. Lay's car. So he literally, so the founder literally just sold these out of the back of his car, which I feel like that's illegal nowadays, but I don't, I don't know. Um, pretty fucking whack. So, said after acquiring a potato chip company in 1932, founder... Herman W. Lay first sold his chips in Nashville, Tennessee. And in the 1930s, he was still working as a traveling salesman. And he would sell the snacks out of the back of his car while on the road. It's amazing. Imagine being a traveling salesman. Whack. Um, Lay's and Fritos went from competitors to partners. Around the same time that Lay started his chip company, C.E. Doolin acquired a corn chip brand that would become Fritos. After competing for nearly 30 years, Lay's and Fritos emerged to form Frito Lay in 1961. And then four years later, the company emerged with merged again with Pepsi Cola to create PepsiCo. Oh, this one's fun. Lay's has created region-specific flavors for different parts of the U.S. During a campaign called The Tastes of America, Lay's released eight flavors based on popular region-specific foods, like the New, Eng New England lobster roll in the Northeast and the Cajun spice in the South. And so the picture that they have is of the New York Reuben, Reuben which is probably only available in like New York out of them. Yeah, yeah, they have it too, that's what I was talking about. Lay's flavors also vary from country to country. So, yeah. Um, depending on where you are in the world, Lay's flavors will change to reflect popular foods and tastes in different countries. So yeah, in Japan, they have the KFC flavored Lay's because KFC is huge there. And they, like, let's see, the picture shows some bags in Thai, for, that are, like, in Thailand, because it's called Thai Taste. But I don't know what they say. One looks like it's, a. Uh, go away. So one looks like it's a, oh, it says, uh, it actually says at home, basil chicken flavor. That thing looks like it's, like, it looks like chicken with, like, a freaking fried egg on top of it. Crab curry flavor and extreme hot chili flavor, all found in, all reminiscent of Thailand, apparently. Um, in India, you can find flavors like magic masala. In Thailand, chips come in flavors like basil chicken and crab curry. There are over 200 different varieties of Lay's chips, I already said that, but Lay's constantly mixes up their flavor lineup with over 200 varieties created to date. The chips range from common flavors like salt and vinegar to barbecue to more unusual ones like cappuccino, vegetable soup, and beer and brats. I did not know about those last three. The vegetable soup one doesn't seem so weird, but cappuccino and beer and brats, that's like, what the fuck? As of 2018, Lay's receives its potatoes from 25 different states, so half of the country. As of 2018, Frito-Lay buys its potatoes from 120 farms across 25 different states. Anjali Francis and Eric Knoll reported for ABC News. Some of these states include Wisconsin, Maine, North Dakota, and Texas. Oh, I remember this one. 
Sometimes Lay's will offer a million bucks for great new flavor ideas. You guys probably remember this too. Lay's has had several contests over the years to find the next great chip flavor, offering a million dollars to whoever submits the best new recipe. Some of the flavors to come out of this content included wasabi ginger, cheesy garlic bread, and southern biscuits and gravy. Also three flavors I did not know about. The Lay's Head Flavor Researcher has a long history as a restaurant chef. Um, Jody Denton, the executive research chef for Frito-Lay, has owned and worked at a variety of restaurants over the years, including a Mediterranean bistro, an Asian fusion restaurant, and a Californian oyster bar. What the fuck? Lay's chips were one of the first snack foods with televised commercials. Now I think about it, I haven't seen a Lay's commercial in like years, it feels like. When was, when was the last time I saw a Lay's commercial? I don't, I'm confused. According to the company, company Facebook page, in 1944, Lay's became one of the first ever snack, snack food brands to advertise its products on TV. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. The Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz was the first celebrity spokesperson for Lay's. Bert Lahr, better known for his role as the Cowardly Lion in The Wizard of Oz, was Lay's first celebrity spokesperson. He appeared in a number of Lay's advertisements and commercials during the 1960s in the popular Bet You Can't Just Eat One campaign. Oh, I got. I have to show you guys this. Look at this fucking show. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. What the hell is he wearing? What the fuck is that? Psycho. <laughs> I, I, I'll have to like find or watch this commercial. VCR cooking slash YouTube. Yep, that's it. That's the last fact. Man, that's, that's a cursed image if I've ever seen one. And look at that old Lay's logo. Damn. Well, yeah. Um, the bottom line is Lay's have been around f for almost a hundred years for a reason. They're absolutely the king of all potato chips around the world. There's no question about it. Um, with over 200 flavors, they've got, God, who knows how much money they must have. Um, um, they're a super, they're a super crunchy, great tasting, salty, um, snack. They're not expensive at all. It, they're so widely available everywhere you go. And it's just, they taste great. They've got a great texture and they're really, they're very shareable too. These are a great party snack. So I love Lay's. I like a lot of the flavors that of course I, there's so many flavors that I haven't tried, but maybe that'll, that'll be like a goal. I'll try to try as many flavors here on the channel as I possibly can in the coming years. And so, um, yeah, thank you, Lay's. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, then please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more content just like this in the future. Um, remember that this Friday, April 15th, we are having the 200 subscriber celebration live stream um, at 12 p.m. U.S. Central Time here on YouTube on the channel. We're going to play some video games. Or I'm going to play some video games. I'll be able to interact with you guys live in the chat, answer your questions. You'll be able to watch, um, have fun, have a great time. Um, once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye.